Imagine a world within your computer. A world which you have created. A world where anything is possible. This is the world of Virtual Reality Studio 2. Virtual Reality Studio 2 has been developed alongside professional virtual reality products and is the only product of its type available for home computers. It's a program that's packed with features. There's a 3D shape designer which enables you to create and manipulate a wide range of complex objects, from simple cubes or pyramids through to spheres and flexi cubes. You can create and edit your own sound effects and include them in your 3D world. Virtual Reality Studio 2 comes complete with a comprehensive library of clip art together with a full color catalog which enables you to incorporate professionally produced objects into your world. There's an animation program that lets you animate objects or groups of objects. You can choose to fly, walk, or drive through your 3D world, record your journey, and then, using a VCR-style playback function, relive that journey and all its excitement. You start with a small selection of basic building blocks. Stretch or shrink them until they're the correct size and shape, and then move them into place. Duplicate objects with a click of a button as you assemble increasingly complex structures. Everything you do is shown on the screen instantly, so you can experiment to your heart's content. When you've finished constructing your world, move around it at will, investigating objects from every angle. Objects can even be made to appear and disappear at will. You can use an art package to create borders and animations which can be incorporated into your world. With Virtual Reality Studio 2 and your imagination, you'll soon be turning ideas into exciting new environments just waiting to be explored. Harnessing the program's incredible power is as simple as clicking the buttons on a mouse. Welcome to the world of Virtual Reality Studio 2. Virtual Reality Studio 2 contains all the tools and commands you need to create your own worlds. Worlds that you can explore at will, providing you watch your step. As with any set of tools, it helps to have an idea of how to use them before you start. In this video, we'll introduce some of the basic commands and techniques required to start you off. You'll find further help and details in the accompanying manual. We communicate with Virtual Reality Studio 2 using the mouse and the cursor. At the top of the screen is a menu bar that contains all the major functions. To make a selection, just move the cursor over the menu until the correct command is highlighted, then click with the mouse. The middle of the screen is the window onto our virtual world. At the moment, there's just ground and sky. This is the status panel. It tells you where you are in your world, what objects are currently selected, and whether you're walking or flying. Next, a set of icons. These buttons move us around the virtual world and allow us to look up or down. At the bottom of the screen, the major commands from the menu bar are duplicated. This is the shortcut route. They can be turned off if required. If we want a full screen view of our world, we just press F1 on the computer keyboard or choose Test from the general menu. And the control panel vanishes completely. Pressing F1 again takes us back.
All objects in Virtual Reality Studio 2, no matter how complex they may appear, are constructed from a few basic shapes. These are our building blocks. Let's begin by looking at how we can create, say, a building. First, we'll create a cube to place in our world. Click on the Create button at the bottom of the screen. This reveals another menu containing all the shapes available. Our building block, the cube, is at the top left-hand corner. When it first appears, the cube is hovering in mid-air. We can walk around it using the movement control buttons. Click the left mouse button and we move at Virtual Reality Studio 2's regular speed. If we click the right button, our speed is greatly increased. The next step would be to change the object we've created, so select the Edit icon on the control panel. These are the buttons that will move an object. Stretch it, shrink it, or rotate it. And as with the movement control, clicking the right mouse button speeds things up considerably. If you make a mistake, don't worry. There's an undo button at the far right of the panel. You can undo up to 10 previous actions. Using these controls, we can shrink the cube until it's only the size of a matchbox, then stretch it until it becomes a flagpole. Even though it's grown out of the top of the screen, we can look up with the view button to see that it's all there. But for our building, we'll need a flat wall. We could go through all those stages again to create a second wall, but it is far easier to use the copy function. We can choose where our duplicated object will appear in relation to the original. The only restriction is that it can't appear inside another object. We'll place it to the right, then use the edit commands to move it to one side. Now we can create a third section of wall, edit it like this, then use the turn and move controls to maneuver it into place. We stretch it until it joins with the other walls we created. We can then carry on creating shapes and adding more detail until our building is completed. An exciting feature of Virtual Reality Studio 2 is the ability to create more complex shapes using flexi-cubes and spheres. A flexi-cube is an object that can be reshaped at will. When we wish to create a flexi-cube, it will appear as a normal cube, but colored differently. We can alter its shape by selecting points on the cube and stretching or resizing them as shown here. Our virtual world would be pretty dull without color, so Virtual Reality Studio 2 provides us with tools to paint the objects we create. The first step is to select which side we wish to paint. Once we've selected a side, we're presented with a choice of colors. Immediately, our selection is surrounded by a flashing box, and a larger color sample appears to the far right of the color palette. To select a new color, we click the left-hand mouse button. We don't have to move around to paint each side of an object, such as this cube. Virtual Reality Studio 2 provides a shortcut. Each section of this panel represents one face of the selected object. Clicking on the right-hand mouse button allows us to paint any of the object's faces with the selected color. If we forget which color we've used, simply click on the section of wall and the correct shade will be selected on the palette. For the roof of our building, we could use a new shape, a pyramid.
We'll leave this in mid-air whilst we change its size to fit the walls. This is easier if we look at our building from above. When we've stretched the pyramid to the size required, we can use the point control to finish shaping our roof. Now it's time to create yet another shape. As well as the three-dimensional objects we've already encountered, there are two-dimensional ones that can be used to add detail to buildings. In this instance, we'll use the rectangle to make windows and a door. To make our door look more like a hole in the wall, we'll color it, then slide it into position. However, when we try to walk through it, we collide with the wall. At the moment, it's just a flat shape on a solid cube. To enable us to move from one part of our world to another, Virtual Reality Studio 2 provides us with the option to create areas. Selecting Create Areas from the menu bar takes us back to an empty landscape, just like the one we started with. However, note that the status panel tells us we're in Area 2. This time, instead of placing buildings in an open landscape, we want to enclose the area with four walls. If it feels too claustrophobic as we look around the new area, we can expand the size of our room. There's no need to match the inside of a building to its outside. In fact, we could create a grand chamber inside a small hut. We now have two areas, but no way to move between them other than to use the area command on the menu bar. So let's go outside again. Each area can have several entrances. We have to select which entrance we'll use when we wish to move to a different area. This brings us to one of Virtual Reality Studio 2's most powerful features, conditions. Conditions tell the program how to respond to your actions. We'll create a condition that takes us from Area 1 to Area 2 if we walk through the door. Though it may look a little complex at first, the conditional language, which we call the Freescape command language, is really very simple, as we'll discover from the manual. Now let's try again to walk through the door. This time, we're inside the room. By changing an object's attributes, we can, for example, make it invisible. We can destroy it. We can turn an object into a sensor or a transporter for use in games, or we can make an object appear or reappear by fading. The fade levels can be freely adjusted. We can also interact with environments by shooting, so let's make this box fade on and off when shot. By entering a few simple commands, the object can be made to react in the desired way. The wireframe mode is yet another useful addition to Virtual Reality Studio 2. It can be of great help when designing objects, as the wireframe mode enables us to see through the objects we have created. Wireframe mode is again achieved by changing the object's attributes. When we become more familiar with the program, we can also make things move using the Freescape command language. We can also design and import animated brushes from art packages and then incorporate them into our virtual world.
Virtual Reality Studio 2 provides yet another unique feature, video record and playback. This feature, when activated, allows us to record our movement through our virtual world and then replay it using the VCR-style control panel. Another powerful feature of Virtual Reality Studio 2 is its ability to use sound effects. Sounds are loaded from disk into the sound editor and then manipulated to create the desired result. These sound effects can then be used in your virtual world to add realism. Once created, sounds can be triggered using the program's Freescape command language. Another major feature of Virtual Reality Studio 2 is the ability to create standalone worlds that will run independently. The appearance of these worlds can be greatly enhanced by the addition of a border which can be created using an art package, or alternatively, we can use any of those provided with the program. Inserting borders is as easy as this. To further enhance our world, we can also design and create our own buttons, which can then be assigned to Virtual Reality Studio 2's movement controls. Once you've mastered the basics of Virtual Reality Studio 2, your ambitions will grow with your imagination. So here's a few tips to help you on your way. You can make all hidden objects invisible. This will greatly increase the program's speed, as will reducing the number of objects visible in the view window. Using the Freescape command language, you can build a library of procedures to save on memory and again to increase the speed and complexity of your world. Cameras may be positioned throughout your world and then individually selected so that you can immediately return to that camera's viewpoint. In this video, we've introduced just some of the basic techniques and commands needed to get started in creating virtual reality worlds. Once you've studied the manual, you'll discover many more of the exciting features provided in Virtual Reality Studio 2. Welcome to the virtual world of Virtual Reality Studio 2.